Here's how to rig a Resident Evil kind of character. Now in Resident Evil, the limbs are kind of all separate. And so each bone is associated pretty much with just one limb. So the first thing we're gonna do is select all of our limbs with A and join them all together into one object with Control J. It doesn't matter that they're part of the same object, this will still work. Next, we're gonna go into object mode and press one on the number pad to get the front view. Now we're going to go to add armature. Then we're going to go to edit mode. We're going to select this bone, drag it here. We can't see it because the body's in front. So go down here to this armature menu and then select in front. And then we're going to move it up by pressing G and Z. We press G and Z to make sure it's locked into the Z axis and we can put it over here on the pelvis. Now we're going to press G on the tip here and press Z to just drag it down. And then we're just gonna extrude the bones out. So we need one for the torso. So press E to extrude and then Z to lock it to the Z axis up to the neck. And then we're gonna press E to extrude again and lock it to the Z axis up to the top of the head. Now we're gonna go up here to add single bone. And let's just drag the bone out of the way a bit. We're gonna put this end of the bone at the top of the leg here. And then we're gonna put the bottom where the knee joint will go. And then we're gonna extrude again to where the foot will turn. And then we're gonna press three to go into our side view. And we press E to extrude out here. And then we press E again from the heel and extrude out the back. One to go back into front view, add another single bone. I select it, bring it up to this shoulder joint, and then we're gonna take the tip and move that down to our elbow. Just think about where the rotation should come from, because this is basically the pivot point of the bone here. At the elbow, we're gonna extrude down the wrist to the hand, then extrude one for the hand. Okay, now we've got a few loose bones here, the ones we added separately. So we need to make sure they're parented to the right bones. So we're gonna go down here, select this thigh bone, and then shift select this pelvis bone and press Control P for the parent menu and keep offset. And then select this upper arm left here and select this torso and then press control P and then keep offset again. This shouldn't be parented to the foot here. So we're gonna press Alt P and clear parent. Another thing we wanna do is go to our side view with three on the number pad and then press add single bone, select the bone, move it just in front of his knee over here. And this is gonna be our pole target, which I'll explain later. Then we're gonna go back to the front view with one, select this pole target, press G, move it in front of the knee here. Now we're gonna go back to our side view and we're gonna make sure that all the bones line up here too. Move the knee just a bit forward. You want it to point forward a little bit because it can get a bit buggy otherwise. Okay, before we move on, make sure you've named all of your bones the same as me. So, pelvis, torso, head, upper arm dot L, lower arm dot L, hand dot L, upper leg dot L, lower leg dot L, foot dot L, IK dot L, pole target dot L. So now, um, the bones are working in some way, um, but we need to rotate them all like this, which is okay for arms most of the time. But for the legs, it's nice to use inverse kinematics. And that way we can kind of stick his feet to the floor and just move around like this and flop his leg around wherever we want. So in pose mode, we're gonna select the lower leg dot L, and then we're gonna come over here and find the bone constraint properties. Then we're gonna add a bone constraint, inverse kinematics. The target will be the armature. The bone will be IK.L, that's this bone here. And the pole target will be our pole target.L, surprisingly. Now, as you can see, shit's a bit fucked up right now, but that's okay. Just go over here to the pole angle and rotate the character around until he looks about level with the pole target. That's about right. And now we're gonna set the chain length to two and that's it. 
as you can see he's kind of his foot is bending through the floor and we'd rather have it lay flat so to fix this go to our foot add a bone constraint uh, copy rotation target is armature the bone is ik.l and then we're going to invert y and z trust me then this target is local with parent owner is local with parent okay so now as you can see the foot sticks to the floor and all is well okay now in edit mode select half of all the bones and then go to armature symmetrize and that's going to copy all the bones onto the other side it also switched the names so they have dot r on the end which is cool now go into pose mode so now we need to actually attach the mesh to the armature so go to object mode so select the mesh then shift select the armature press ctrl p to parent and parent with empty groups okay so now we're gonna go into our mesh and if we look over here in this little thing we have all of these things called vertex groups and they're all associated with a different bone so if i want something to be moved by the pelvis bone i need to add it to this vertex group and the way we do that is by selecting that part you can select a vertex or a face hover over it and press l and that selects the linked so we have the pelvis so assign to that vertex group now if we select any of the vertices they're assigned to the pelvis as you can see and so if we go back to pose mode you'll see that now the pelvis moves with the armature so all you need to do now is go down the list and select your body part with L to get the linked. Uh, torso should also include the collar and then assign. There we go. And then they're assigned to that vertex group and just do the same for all of your body parts. Just a little side note, you don't need to add anything to the IK or pole targets. Now go to pose mode and test your masterpiece. If you screw up like this somehow, it's usually because the vertices are attached to more than one vertex group. So all you need to do is go to object mode select that particular limb and then press ctrl g for the groups menu and then remove from all and it will remove it from all vertex groups then simply add it back to its vertex group and go back to pose mode to test so the way to actually move the legs with this setup is to use the IK like this and you can move it up here and as you can see it's gone backwards so all you need to do is move the pole target up. So the pole target is just for making small adjustments to your legs. If you screw up your pose in some way and you don't know how to get it back just select all of the bones, pose and then go to clear transform all and that will bring it back to its default state. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and like and everything and bye.